I watched uncomfortably as the ember died out on its own. A little curl of smoke arose from the carpet. Um, bless, I remarked, touching her arm. That doesn't look so good. Want to cover it up, she asked. Be my guest. I looked at her to see if she was serious. She held a straight face for a second, then broke. Too cute, she said. The cherry turned black and the mark was easily visible on the beige carpet. Darn, the house was not going to burn down like she wanted. Her upbeat demeanor fell right off her face and dissolved to an ashen gray when Everett and Freddie came over by us. Rhett was clearly pissed off she was smoking in the house. He hadn't seen the carpet yet. I slowly slid my boot over the mark. She put her hand on my knee and left it there. She went ahead and blew smoke in a straight channel out between her eyes. Is this shit menthol, she asked, as though she didn't know. Mm, yes, I said, hesitantly, playing along. I was worried for her. I could tell she was nervous he would discover the mark. Oh, good. I love menthols. I was relieved nothing happened for a second. I thought I was about to witness a whole lot of ass kicking. Rhett kicking hers, Freddy kicking mine, her kicking the dog, the dog howling. Rhett and Freddy were quietly watching us. It occurred to me they were both getting off on having us there in the same room, as if they owned us. We said nothing to them, and finally they went away. I believe they were discussing the pros and cons of inline versus V cylinders. Then they went out to look under someone's hood. Bless was fantasizing about the hood coming down on Everett's head. I started to think about sweet, early model American cars, and subsequently Cuba. Have you ever been to Cuba? I asked my new friend. What? Cuba. Have you ever been there? Why the hell would I go to Cuba? Isn't that illegal? Not if you go for educational purposes, it's not. Educational purposes? You mean school? Yeah, school. She took a long drag, looked up at the ceiling, and blew a pipeline of smoke straight up and said at the end of her breath, fuck school. Another cherry fell directly down. The glass ashtray was unable to catch it. The carpet fibers looked up and shrieked.